Hi, welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah and in this video I'm going to be making a new succulent arrangement. I have one, um, a succulent arrangement on my channel of where I'm propagating succulents and so I'm going to try to kind of recreate that and show you guys how I put together the arrangement. So this is an old arrangement here, a couple years old and I just literally put it on the side of my house, never watered it, never took care of it, but I'm going to try to use some of these that are in here to fill in some of the space um, around the ones that I just bought just from Home Depot. So I have some cactus soil here, the plants. What I'm gonna do first is go over to my potting bench and I'm gonna cut off some of the existing succulents that I have and see if I can just pop them in here because it's kind of overgrown over there. So it needs to be cut down anyway. So let's go do that. All right, so this is my potting bench. I made the bench that's under here. And then this is my kitchen window, so I get to look out to this. And this is all obviously pretty overgrown. I've just been watering it. I haven't done anything to cut it back or maintain it. So I'm gonna grab this whole tray of succulents here and bring it over there so I can cut it off. All right, so we have brought this over from the potting bench. You can see it's very overgrown. I, with these, I had another blue chalk sticks plant and I just cut these off and shoved them in here and they've grown like crazy. So um, we're kind of gonna do the same thing here. So let's get started. I'm just gonna take this apart. Oh, that was dead. <laughs> Didn't expect it to break like that. Let's pull this out. I have a bucket over here. We'll just throw away the bad ones. Let's see if we can keep this. away all this dead stuff okay let's see if we can add that somewhere so I'm just gonna cut this echeveria okay and we'll pick off some of these dead leaves these don't look too pretty so we'll just pop those off save those for propagating and that's how it looks and how I'll plant it we'll cut that and cut this off set that aside All right, this one we'll just cut here and I'm gonna pull off a lot of these. Everywhere that I'm pulling off these leaves, new ro roots are gonna grow. So we have that. We'll cut it a little bit shorter. There we go. Cut this off. This at Shaveria is kind of a mess. Let me turn this. I'm going to pull off all of these dead leaves first so I can see the root, the trunk of it. So we'll pop off these bottom leaves so that we can propagate these, making sure that they're all clean and not tearing when we pop them off. OK, 
Hey, look at that. Pretty. So this one's kind of leggy. So again, we'll, uh, pop these off. See, that's a tear. That's what we don't want. We can't propagate that. Just making sure you get it all the way off. All right, so this is kind of taken apart and destroyed. So I'm just gonna take out the rest of these and um, put a new layer of soil in it. So here is that arrangement that we brought over from the potting bench. So let's see what we can take from here. Okay, so if you can see in there, we're just gonna cut this. Yeah. And now I've got a whole piece here and we'll stick this in. We'll propagate these. Okay, so let's put this arrangement together. Uh, I took video of how I see these in the store and kind of the coloring of what I'm looking at. So as I put it in the cart, I'm looking, okay, I wanna have all different color groups. There's a purple, there's kind of like blue, there's a yellow, green, there's white. I like to have all of the, the colors there. I don't want everything to be super monochromatic, so that's what I'm going for, is I see things that are a little bit more red, purple hue, white, and then orange, so that's kind of what I do. So if we look at these plants over here, we see like this is the red, purple that I'm talking about, kind of orange. These are the bright greens that stand out like a forest green, blue, kind of an icier blue. This is more white. So when you just look at this, you see all these different colors instead of all like the same green color succulents. So that's kind of my tip, that's what I do. So we start with our centerpiece here. We'll put this in and I'm gonna put the names of all of these on the screen because there's no way I'm gonna remember each variety so I make this one a little bit taller than everything else as far as the centerpiece so that we have something that stands up. Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of eyeball these. Let's put it together. So I'm gonna take two greens, put them opposite of each other so that it's balanced. I'll take two of these blues, kind of do the same a little bit next to this one. Here's another blue, kind of mix in here. Here's my two greens. We'll put these opposite because I only have a couple of those. My purples. It's another purple. See, now I'm putting this here. These are too close to each other. So we'll swap it over here, put the purple here. And I got more. These are different textures. So these are kind of fuzzier. So a little bit fuzzier here. So we'll stick it about there. Okay, that's full enough for now. But once we plant it, it'll fill in. So let's do this. As I'm planting these, I'm not doing them all in a straight line. So this one's gonna be closer to the edge. This one will be closer to the center piece. Okay. Let's grab one of the ones from the previous. This is such a funky one. I think it's our soil 
um, sorry, our water changed the color of this. So it just has this root here. So I'm going to get some more soil. And we're just going to kind of shove it in there, push the soil around it so it's nice and secure. Okay, how about this one? Add some dark purple. I need more soil. So just pushing that root tip in there. So you can see as I'm doing this, it's taking up more space because I'm putting them so close together. You know what, this one, there's a, like three in here. So let's break these off so we can separate them. So we'll just pull that off. And then break this off too. I was going to put this here, but see how close they are with the pointy leaves. We'll switch it and put something a little bit different. So when you have a little bit of space here, let's find one of these little ones that we took from the previous arrangement. We'll add some soil. And we'll just kind of wiggle these in. And then press the dirt around. I love that. See the orange, the green, and the blue hues? That makes me happy.
All right, so we have pretty much filled this up. The final touches are just taking these little ones that we cut off from our other plants and we'll just kind of fit them into the areas where you can see some of the soil. So here's an area. Hmm. Let's, let's put this one in here because that's just a little different guy. We'll add these kind of more brown hued down here. And then there's no orange in this area, so that makes me want to put something like this in here. And just making sure there's enough soil. And then we'll just push, gently push it in there, wiggle it in so it's in the dirt. This area we can use something a little bit taller. So here's the little pieces that we cut off from my potting bench pot. So we'll take off these bottom leaves. That's where the roots will grow. And then we'll just kind of shove it in there. This is all just a matter of fine tuning, figuring out what you like and the color arrangements. We got just a couple more here. All right, so this is the finished product here. Faith um, got up from a nap, so she's joining us now. So as far as watering, the soil, when I was putting it all together, is fairly moist, which is how I normally do it. I won't water this until it dries out. So that's really important, making sure you're not over watering it since it is already moist if you do use moist soil, but that's what I do and that works really well. So if we look at this, um, the biggest tips that I have are just making sure that you get all different colors from the color wheel. So we're keeping the oranges all together, or sorry, not all together, spread apart. Then we have blues over here, pinks. So we just kind of spread it out so it's not all one area. And then um, making sure that you get all different colors, not having all the same like green. You can see all these succulents in a store and then if you buy everything that looks fairly similar, it just doesn't look as pretty. So just, you know, using all different kinds like that, having a tall centerpiece, I think that's what I do and it works for me. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped, hope you guys like it. Say bye.